What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another X9 Draft League video. This week we're facing off against Joe UX9 and his team, the Minneapolis Joe Mamas. Uh, and yeah, he told me if I even think about winning that I'm kicked out of the league, so we're going to be careful here. I'm going to make sure I keep my mind off of winning and uh, just keep my mind on losing, so we're going to do our best here. If you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And that's my comment question of the day. Which Pokemon on our team do you think is probably our strongest player so far this season? Let me know, and let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we keep having late battles this season. It's just like just the nature of how it's been going with everyone's schedules and stuff. So I don't know if I'm if, if I'm even going to record the pre-battle explanation of like the sets and stuff. Might just get into it. Last week I meant to do it, but I didn't get around to it. And this week I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm not terribly superstitious, but I, I don't want to mess up the streak. You know, the streak of <laughs> getting one win because of a DQ from just dropping the league, getting another win by. Just, you know, playing well enough and not explaining the the team prep. And maybe this week, if I just do even less work, I, I might win. Anyways, here's the team we're using. Uh, safety Goggles. I almost said Sableye. Safety Goggles, Sneasel. We have an Assault Vest, Verizion, Misty Seed, Misty Surge, Galarian Weezing, Weakness Policy, Colossal, a Koba Berry, or Cobra Berry, Reuniclus and of course Eviolite Dusclops or should we run the the famous choice band Dusclops instead who knows let's go ahead and get into it all right but yeah um I mean Joe and I we have a pretty even matchup on paper as far as our, our teams go Ooh, I knew in my heart I knew in my heart I was gonna see a Salgor Lele I knew that let me think hmm so a Selgor Lele can be kind of annoying. It can be kind of annoying, but I think if I just go... I think I can actually just go Sneasel Colossal, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's actually, like, my safest play. Just game one, you know. Um, he's probably going to lead off with... What if it's Focus... No, I guess if it's Focus Sash, it doesn't matter on the, on the Amoongus, because we'll be able to break that immediately with the Surf, but still... We're pretty bulky on our Sneasel too, so I guess I can afford to be a little bit careful with that, but still like use it, you know. Uh, in the back here, I think I'm going to bring my... My Reuniclus looks like it gets destroyed by most of this team, to be honest. I actually quite like Verizion, and I think my last Pokemon... Let me check something. How confident am I with this? Um... Not too confident, mainly just because Lele. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go... I'm going to go Reuniclus here. I think Reuniclus is fine. I think Reuniclus is fine. My main concern is the set on the on the Aselgore. The Aselgore could be frustrating. Or not the Aselgore. What am I saying? The Amoongus. I'm tired, guys. I'm really tired. I got off a long shift at work just now. <laughs> So they go Selgor Lele. Fine with that, to be honest. Now, my concern is... Is he going to be running a water move on his Selgor? Because I know it gets... I guess it only gets Water Shuriken. But even then, I, I would say my main priority here is going to be KOing that Selgor. It should drop to one max rock or max whatever i'm gonna go reuniclus here and i think i am just gonna get rid of the the assault war i would i would assume that joe would target down the um the sneasel if anything here mainly because the selgor will be able to outspeed and ko me And I don't really mind losing the, the Reuniclus too early. As long as I get these rocks in the field, I feel pretty okay. Even if I'm not activating policy immediately, it's fine. Alright, let's see if he maxes. Nope, looks like I'm the only one maxing. Oh 
Let's see if he goes for like fake Tears Choice Scarf Moonblast. Struggle Bug, that's fine. I all I really cared about was getting the rocks up, to be honest. And there's the Moonblast, that's fine. Just give me my rocks. Give me my rocks. This will probably live now. Not long, but it will live. Alright. So now what I can actually do is... Ooh, do I want to do this? I think my play is going to be... I can attempt to Shadow Ball the Tapu Lele right here and just go for a Protect. A Max Guard, actually. and Because I'm, I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is it's just going to be another um, another Struggle Bug and possibly like a Shadow Ball into the Reuniclus. Or they could even just go ahead and double into the Reuniclus, expecting me to want to get Trick Room off. Honestly, what my main concern here is just getting rid of the Acel Gore and possibly getting my weakness policy off. Even if it's a turn late, it's fine. Yep, there's the max. Let's see what it is. Probably just the Lele going for a move here. So I'm fine with my max guard play. Acel Gore should be going down. Especially since Joe opted not to switch here. So yeah, it's, it's going to go down at the end of the turn. I don't believe it gets... It might get U-turn. It probably does, honestly, but... No one really runs that. There's the acid spray. Oh, he was going for it. He was going for it. Some nice shadow ball damage. And that thing's gone. So I'm feeling pretty good about avoiding that acid spray. I forgot it's acid spray, not fake tears. I don't know why I thought it was fake tears that they run. Same thing, except, you know, this one breaks a sash. <laughs> ah, yes, Jellicent, the once vigilant. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Um, Is he going to go for Trick Room? <laughs> I don't think he's going to go for Trick Room. I think he may just Water Spout. I'm going to get more damage on this thing. I'm just going to stay in. I'm not going to go for my policy. Uh, but I will flare this turn, and the reason I want to flare is because if I am faster than this Jellicent, which I should be, unless he's running like Scarf Jellicent, um, I should be able to use that to my advantage to prevent me from going down to the Water Spout. It's the Mind Storm. As they do just water spout, that's fine. That's fine. Because I still have my Verizion and my uh, Steezel. Which both those Pokemon actually outspeed Tapu Lele. And I am running AV. I am running AV. I think my main priority here is going to be to go ahead and deal with that Lele. I'm not terribly concerned with Jellicent. He may not even have Trick Room on it, to be honest, because he was outspeeding my Colossal, and I do have some speed investment on the Colossal. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> That's special defense. I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm more concerned with the Lele than anything. And what could possibly be in the back, which they all lose to, to Verizion if I don't lose it here. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and self-beat up. Even though I'm only going to get plus two. That should allow me to get a Smart Strike KO. I hope. <laughs> I could also just Smart Strike and Triple Axel, and that might be better. No, I'm not Inner Focus. I should just Smart Strike. Yeah. Critical hit. Yeah, it mattered. Definitely. Let's see if they're just, like, Scarf Water Spout. Or not Scarf Water Spout, but, like, a faster Water Spout. I don't know. Smart Strike. That doesn't quite KO. Dang, that kind of sucks. 
There's the Mindstorm. Let's see if I can somehow live this. Nope. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Joe's going to take game one then, probably. And they do have Trick Room. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and forfeit here. I don't believe I can bring this one back. But I can figure out what was in the back here and see how much it mattered that I didn't KO with uh, Smart Strike. Um, Maybe not too much. Probably didn't matter too much. Like, obviously, I take a lot of... Um, I can take a lot of hits from Hydreigon, but I don't know if I could take, like, a, a Fire Blast or a, or a Fire Move into a Shadow Ball. So it probably mattered just a little bit, but in the end... Not too much. We also got some info. Uh, we know that I am not faster than this Jellicent. Which means Jellicent is not running zero speed, I believe. Actually, is Jellicent base 60? In which case, I'm just stupid. <laughs> In which case, I'm just stupid. Let me double check. I always forget Jellicent's speed tier. Let me see. Yeah, it's base 60. I was stupid. <laughs> I was stupid. All right. Let's go into game two. Just a second here. I always have to have this set to random, otherwise I, like, fumble with it too much. I think I want to bring pretty much the same squad, to be honest, but just play a little bit smarter now. Alternatively, I could play dumber. <laughs> um, I could do the 50-50 lead, which would just frustrate the hell out of Joe. Okay. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. I can bring this. That's going to be my team, right? I'm going to do that. Now, Joe is pretty much forced to target down the Dust Clops to prevent a Trick Room. So I can take advantage, if, if he leads off a Cell Lele. So I can take advantage of that, switch into my Reuniclus, and KO the Lele. Yeah, because he can't afford to uh, to let me get off Trick Room. Trick Room's too good for me in this matchup. And we do see a Disc Scarf Lele. Alright. Yeah. So he should be going for... Does he have Shadow Ball? Does he have Shadow Ball, though? Maybe I just do it. Maybe I just do it to him. I'm gonna do this. No. Yes. No. Yes. This might seem dumb, and it probably was. <laughs> Okay. So that forces him to lock himself into um, a ghost move there. Or a psychic move. Okay. But I live. He gets a crit too. And this should come close to KOing. It didn't. It's not doing nearly as much as I hoped. <laughs> but on the bright side, Sneasel's more or less safe now. Ooh, wait, wait, idea. 
On this turn, I Surf because he's going to Struggle Bug, right? Which should let me get in Colossal. Because I believe he can just Struggle Bug and... He's going to want to target down my my Sneasel, or at the very least... Because he doesn't need to use Lele here for anything. He, he, he has the option to switch, right? He should always just stay in with a Selgor, if anything, if he doesn't just max the Lele out, right? Alright, there's the max on the Lele. I'm assuming it's going to be a fairy move, and I'm probably going to get either Struggle Bugged or just a Bug-type move into my, um, into my Colossal. Yep, there's the Struggle Bug. I should outspeed the Lele down. I'm going to get my... My coal speed boost activated. Okay. Okay. It's the next starfall, yep. Now here's the issue, I am 100% about to get <laughs> Struggle Bug the second time. And Struggle Bug is 100% accuracy, it's not like that trash move Snarl. So I think my play here is going to be to attempt, attempt, keywords attempt here. To... Is that within Nightshade range? I don't know. It's got really good HP. I almost want to go for the Raw Protect. I'm going to go for the Raw Protect this turn. I, I don't really need to... I don't really need to max quite yet. If I can somehow knock out this thing without... Um, without losing my special attack boost, that'd be great. But I pretty much lose to Jellison if he has it in the back. At this point of the match, to be honest. I absolutely botched that lead. Yep, there it is. Max Mindstorm. Should take that pretty okay behind a Protect. Let's see if we can somehow pick up this KO. I really doubt it, though. A lot of the Selgors opt for really high HP UVs. Yeah, not, not possible there. Um, I suppose what I could do alternatively here <laughs> is my best. All right, I'm just going to vocal it this turn. I'm definitely getting struggle bugged. Just going to put that out there. I also should have nightshaded the Lele. That was a misplay. Because a Selgor drops to rocks at the end of the turn, regardless of what happens. There's the Acid Spray. Um, I might be able to tank this. Who knows? That is a bulky Lele. Okay. Nope. Okay, yeah, good game. <laughs> I absolutely botched that lead. I guess my only out is if I can somehow get a Trick Room off.
And then connect to Focus Blast. <laughs> or do you have Focus Blast? I completely forgot already. Oh yeah, I don't have Trick Room on this set. Oopsies. Well, my bad. Um, I have Flash Cannon, that's what it was. Hey, joke's on him. I don't have Trick Room on that thing. Alright. How do I win this, Marcos? How do you win this? I suppose I always Nightshade this thing here. Ooh, or I could Pain Split. I could, I could Pain Split that thing and it'd be huge. But I don't have Protect. Oh, uh, that sucks. Okay. I'm going to have to Expanding Force in case they switch out. Or I guess there's no point in Expanding Forcing. I should always just Flash Cannon. Get a pretty solid chunk of HP back. Flash Cannon here. And we still tank. Okay, I might be able to cheese this one out. It will be the cheesiest of games if I manage to win this. This is possible. This is possible. I have to KO the Jellicent on this turn, though. So my play would be... Which does more? Expanding for... That just basically turns into Psychic here, so... My play would be uh, Pain Split Shadow Ball Jellicent. Might be able to cheese this out. Let's see if Jellicent's carrying Protect. That'd make a huge difference here. Nope, no Protect. Jelson has huge HP, so I should be easily tanking another Dark Pulse. I think I won. Yeah, I just won that. I just somehow managed to cheese that one out with freaking Pain Split Dust Clops. Oh my god. Yeah, and then Rocks. Wow, how did I even do that? <laughs> I did not earn that. I did not earn that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. I'm sorry, Joe. The vocalist is busted, to be honest. Like, just that passive damage. If you haven't seen my Colossal video, check that out. I just talk about why Colossal is such a great Pokemon. Alright. Um, and let's get into game three. I'm surprised I even managed to bring that back. Okay, hear me out. We're going to make an awful lead again, but this time it's going to be smart. This time we're just going to lead off Colossal Dusclops. <laughs> no, that's awful. Um. Hmm. Let me think. I mean, Acid Spray Lele would be able to one-shot my Verizion. It's really just the... Alright, here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to lead off Sneasel, Verizion. We're going to bring the Weezing in the back. And that should save us, and we should be able to one-shot the Lele, because they have to stay Scarfed to KO us. I'm going to bring Colossal here. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. If they lead off with the Aselgore Lele play, they're going to always go for the Acid Spray into Choice Scarf Psychic onto my... Onto my um, my Verizion. But what I can do to beat that is I can actually go ahead and switch in my Weezing of all Pokemon, removing the Psychic Terrain while I'm Dynamaxed, and then allow and that will allow me to live. All 
I could also airstream that um that is Selgor and hope that that's enough. And that actually be that would actually be super helpful. Let me think. I think I just want to airstream the Aselgor. And again, it's not the biggest issue once Lele's gone. It's really just Lele that's annoying. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna seal spike the Lele and hope it's enough. I'm gonna go into Weezing to lower the damage output. Alright. Now, Joe shouldn't really Dynamax here. At least I don't think he should. Alright, let's see. I'm pretty sure that means he didn't Dynamax, because I think if you're Scarfed, it will make your Dynamax go first. I keep forgetting how that interaction happens. It doesn't really matter, though, in this situation. Because <laughs> we'll just find out regardless. Yeah, no max. And with the AV, I should always love that. That does shockingly low damage. Special defense drop. Let's see if we can manage to KO. That is so bulky, dude. That is so bulky. Oh, man. Alright, um... I still don't think he maxes. I'm going to go back into Sneasel. I'm just going to kill my Dynamax here. I'm just going to end it. Uh, and I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb into Lele. Because that sh he should know I'm AV now. And he should know he doesn't have to max. So this should be fine. He built this Lele thick, dude. Alright, nice. So that should be the end of Lele. Which, honestly, I think we, we can all agree that was the best thing to get rid of there. <laughs> now, Solgor can still be pretty scary, but it's not really scary. It's not as scary as it would have been. Because I can just double into it here. Because I do have Strange Doom. I'm just going to double into it. I think Triple Axle plus Strange Team should be enough. Obviously, you can just, you know, hit me with a Struggle Bug, but... Kind of just gotta do it now. Kind of just gotta do it. And if he ends up targeting the... The Weezing here, that's fine, because next turn... Um, he should... Drop if I just go for a Close Combat. Yep, there's the max. It's going to become very, very bulky. I'm assuming we're getting struggle bugged here. There's the acid spray. Yeah, he's going for that. He's going for that. One, we need all of these. Two, three, okay. There's the quake, yep. Took some life orb damage. I really hope that's in range of plus three close combat. It should be. It should be. I think I can do this. I 
Oh, that's not. That was a huge misclick if I actually locked that in. Man, this can be kind of a struggle to uh, deal with this Asselgorn now. Here's the Max Guard. I'm pretty okay with that, to be honest. Here's the Acid Spray. That's fine. Like, yeah, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna suck taking the next one. But, you know, I just gotta live with it. I mean, I could just triple Axel again and go into Colossal. I need Verizion to win more than I need Colossal to win, to be honest. I'm assuming he just acid sprays again. Dang, maybe I should have surfed this turn. The Wormwind. Okay, I'm fine with Colossal going down. Colossal actually lived. Holy crap. Alright, so if um if this Hydreigon gets another hit off, it just goes down. I think my play is going to be to triple axle this thing right here. Go for a protect. And I have to get it down to like a Jellicent V. Um, I have to get it down to like a Jellicent versus freaking <laughs> what's his name? Jellicent versus Verzion 1v1 if I want to win. I really hope two of these is enough to KO the Aselgor. <sighs> we missed, okay. That's pretty much game then. I think that's game. If I miss that, that I can't come back from that. I can try to beat up the Jellicent. <laughs> but yeah, there's not much coming back from that. I'm going to try this. <laughs> Maybe. There's a struggle bug. Should tank one. Let's see if the beat up's enough. It does like no damage. I bet you Verizion lives this now. I bet you it's somehow going to live this now. Yeah. <laughs> 
I guess... Oh, I just got a random follower on Twitch. Alright, um... They should just acid spray me. <laughs> I could bounce. I could bounce, I guess. Struggle bug, that's fine. I think if we hadn't missed that triple axle, we had a chance. Give me the double and let me live this water spout somehow, like the lowest possible water spout roll. Oh, it does have protect. Okay, that's game. I would have dropped it that anyways. Anyways, yeah, good game to Joe. This is a pretty late match, but I'm honestly just surprised I managed to take game two off of him. <laughs> I'm just surprised about that. Good games to Joe. Check him out. He's going to be the link in the description down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.